previously on Balls. Bollocks, we're back. Neil Collins and Comfort Kez, we're back with Bollocks, the um, the two-hour football show every Thursday on Balls Radio. We, we try to get the best names. I was saying earlier that, that um, a massive row with Mike McCarby yesterday on Twitter um, because I described uh, Tabu and Teti as mediocre. Obviously, he's not mediocre. He's, he's average, above average, a good footballer. He's done well at Celtic. He's 28. Siandi Kulu. 21 or 22 and, and playing in Rostov I just thought that maybe he should have played ahead of him we tried to get Mike McCarb on Mike and I did end up being friends by the end of it all uh, spoke this morning he's got his own um, his own stuff to do today and he can't come on the radio but he, we are going to speak on the phone later I'll tell you what happens there later keep an eye on at Neil Col N-E-A-L-C-O-L on Twitter to stay up to date um, we're trying to get Jazzy Queen because Jazzy Queen he's the lad that was at Sundowns very well known character at Harry Lagodi is his real name, but we all call him Jazzy Queen. Harry Lagordi, is that right? And, and, and the Jazzy Queen leaves Sundowns, leaves the Sport Youth Development Academy at Sundowns, Africa Sport Youth Development Academy. Jazzy Queen goes out to um, Roses United, the Bloemfontein NFD side, and uh, signs 20 players uh, and had a lot of backing by the sounds of it. We're just trying to get Jazzy on the phone now. Suddenly... Uh, I, th- I think things started to go awry this week. I spoke to him early in the week. I've done a little bit of research on this, but there's not a lot out there. What we don't seem to find out here, Comfort, is that is what's going on in the NFT. It, 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 there's a lot of things that happen that we don't quite understand. Last year, there was a huge debate over, you know, uh, T- Tanda Royal Zulu not getting promoted, not having played all their games, didn't get any points for the games they didn't play. The sponsorship disappeared. Somewhere into Soweto to the big clubs for the NFT and they started late. And a lot of things going on. Polokwane City came up uh, by right. Uh, the, the court case fell apart. And um, so Polokwane City are up, struggling at the start. Um, three games, no points. But uh, also coming up, uh, uh, Mpumalanga Black Aces with Clive Barker installed. Controversially, I guess. Um, having come up through the playoffs, they, they, they then take their place in the Premier League as well, despite all the shenanigans. And we find them as we go into like the fourth game. Oh, oh, is Jazzy going to? I spoke to Jazzy. We, he was keen. So Jazzy going to, to voice mailbox, I'm afraid. But yeah, uh, and Pumalanga Black Aces up. And then Roses United were look, looking like they were going to be the next, what, what do you call them, Chipper United. Chipper who came up and down very quickly at the age of three, having formed in 2010. We lost Chipper last year. They went down in the playoffs um, under Mark Harrison, despite a, a late rally. They got off the bottom. And, of course, Chipper have disappeared. Now, Roses United signed 20 players. They got Jazzy Queen involved. They were suddenly, you know, looking like a side that, to watch in the NFD this season with Tander Rozulu, who will be back competing at the same level from Richards Bay. And now, I mean, I was told that, that they're now going to sell the club or Roses United are now going to relocate to Tembisa and throwing everything in disarray. We can't get hold of Jazzy Queen at the moment, but we'll keep trying him. I'll send him a... A, a text in a minute what often happens in these situations comfort is that people get a call you know from a number they know my name flashes up and, and they can either swear and throw the phone away or they can answer but when a studio number calls often i found my experience in this country more, more so than in england is that people won't answer calls from um, unknown numbers but not to worry uh, on twitter um <laughs> i'm just looking at some of the of the twitters uh, on at neil cole and uh, joe man just retweeting that, that, that you know Later, we'll, we'll be putting up the video um, uh, of his chat with me just now. Joe Mann, who, who great broadcaster, very smooth and articulate man, and a self-confessed Kaiser Chiefs fan. He's not scared to come out and say he's Amakosi, and I think that really that has to be like that. I know in England, most of the journalists are West Ham fans in my office, and you have to come out and say what your allegiance is, because otherwise you're lying. When these referees come out and say they don't support any club, does that mean they weren't interested in football when they were kids? No, of course not. You've got to have... A club that you follow and and you have to admit to it i think i admit to being an amazulu fan and an arsenal fan and that's just how it is uh, interesting stuff dropping on on both I mean, in the two best websites in this country in my view and uh, you know there are some others uh, soccer 411 isn't bad and, and and obviously the the big newspapers will put their stuff out but if you look at kickoff today comfort we were just saying weren't we this ugandan lad has turned up and i know everyone's going to say oh the transfer window's closed you can't sign anyone else but what has been ongoing um, at Kaiser Chiefs, who didn't sign anyone during the transfer window, they got Knowledge Masona back on loan from Hoffenheim. They've got Ivan Bukenya, the, the Ugandan centre-back, 
who's, who's quite well regarded. Um, and he'll add an experience to the back. They've got Taumatur, they've got uh, Tefu Mashamaiti, who I really regard. Tower had a bad game against Zimbabwe, I thought. Um, and they've also got Morgan Gould coming back from injury. They played all three of those centre-backs, didn't they, against Supersport? We spoke to Kevin Johnson last week about that that sensational win by Supersport over Kaiser Chiefs and their three centre-backs. Um, they've now got Ivan Bukenya. Now, I've got no age here for Ivan Bukenya. He looks like he's a pretty experienced I, I individual. I read somewhere, uh, I think he's 23 or something. He's, well, looking at that picture, he's definitely not um, yeah, he 23. Yeah, he does just looked at that? Uh, that. Well, that's what I was going to say. I saw him being a young, promising centre-back from Uganda, but we've got a picture here on kickoff.com of Bukenya playing for Uganda, and he looks to me to be how old? Come, for, come on. Come on, put your thinking hat back on. How old does Bikenya look in that picture? He looks to me to be about thirty, but he you know, does. I'm, I'm, I'm open to. Um, I'm open. According to another uh, website, he's twenty-one. Well, I've, <laughs> I'm sorry, mate. I'm flabbergasted by that. Born in, born in November nineteen ninety-one. Yeah. That picture. Yeah. That's sensational stuff. Twenty-one. Right on Twitter. That picture. Can we get that picture out? Ivan Bikenya. I'm just looking. Yes, age twenty-one. Six foot three inches, 1.9 meters. That makes him taller than, than all those centre backs we were talking about. Because one of the things South Africa seems to lack is, is your astonishingly tall, apart from Matthew Booth, astonishingly tall centre back. I'm now going to put on Twitter that picture of Ivan Bakenya, the man who's now training, the Ugandan who's now training with um, Kaiser Chiefs. With Kaiser Chiefs, and, 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 and there's been talk about signing him and all that. Can, can, can anyone do that for me? Can we get that yeah, picture Ma up on Maz Twitter under on Balls it. Radio and Bollocks, Maz? And I want you guys out there, anyone that's listening, to, to tell me, does Bikenya look... Does this lad Bikenya look 21 to you? Boom, boom. I, I'm not being rude. I'm just, <laughs> it just shook, shook me comfort. I, I thought I must have misread it. I'm getting old. You know, I get things wrong. And, and, and I thought it was a youngster from Uganda that's going to sign... Perhaps they got the picture wrong. Who knows? But um, I'm looking now and there's other pictures. Right, I'm just going to put that down here. So we're in a situation where um, Kaiser Chiefs may still sign. Because as we said to Joe Mann just now, he's, not, he's a Kaiser Chiefs fan. He says we need to look at our signing policy. But they may be able to pick up this extra centre-back. Um, but they, I think they've already got three centre-backs. They've got four left-backs. What they needed was a midfielder. Um, they play Maritzburg United. Stuart Baxter on a run of 10 games, two wins, 11 points out of 30. You know, and, and to be honest, uh, they're mid-table at the moment, aren't they? And, and, and they need to, to come up with something against um, against Maritzburg this weekend or they're going to find themselves um, in, in, in trouble. And even though Stuart Baxter became the first foreign coach to win the PSL in his first season last season. Uh, shocking stuff. I'm just putting out that picture. I love it. It's just gone on, hasn't it? If you look at Balls Radio, guys, at Balls Radio, we've put a picture of this lad, Bikenya, up on Wikipedia that says he's 21. I'm putting that picture up with no judgment at all, asking you guys, do you think he looks 21? I'm just going to check if anyone's actually answered that yet. Okay, guys, uh, I think probably if we can't get Jazzy Queen, we should go on to the mole. Should we get the mole up, Comfort? Um. We'll have a chat with the mole. Or we could go Zane Musa. Which one would you prefer? Because Zane was quite feisty this morning. Zane was saying there was an analyst on TV that was mm. uh, yeah. didn't have any views and all that. Let's get Zane up. Come on. Let's get Zane Musa up. Zane Musa, one of my favourite analysts in this country. Um, uh, always, when him and Sheikhs Kungwani are on, um, uh, it, it lightens things up. It, it livens things up. They're not scared to say it like it is. Zane... You know, he, I was speaking to him this morning on the phone and he said uh, many times during his career he felt a little bit isolated and he felt that there was, a, you know, politics at work in, in his football career. Where but now sundowns. Yeah, you know, he talked about that. But uh, he was a good player and I played with his brother when yeah. I was about 16, Smiley, and, and there were definitely politics then, blimey, in those days. But, but Zane just having a nice long chat, comfort, about, you know, life and, and he wants to learn to play golf as well, Zane. That's going to be a struggle, street. mate. <laughs> <laughs> Zane Musa. Yes, Zane, Moses. Zane, as expected, Mike McCarb couldn't uh, couldn't talk to me today. Actually, I'd, we we did uh, exchange a few SMSs quite politely today. Oh, Zane, okay. Zane, he's so is the enemy. He's the <laughs> <laughs> yeah? Listen, we seem to we seem to no. have calmed the rift down, me and Mike McCarb. So, I'm getting you on here, Zane. You no, know, it's cool. Some people are still taking me in. I, I, I should have just left it. Eh? Yeah, Zane, I, Some people are even saying, why did I ever win any trophy? Maybe I should remind, but I'm not going to reply to that. 
Did I tell them I was the PSL Football of the Year in South Africa? Player, uh, player uh, uh, of the Year, whatever, whatever. It's not necessary, eh? Mate, it, it, you've got to have a thick skin on Twitter, haven't you? I mean, in the yeah, midst of... Yeah, you have to have a thick yeah. skin. Actually, yeah, yeah. If you say something, you have to expect it. Anyway, uh, mate, it's, actually what I'm yeah. giving them... What I gave those guys, what people give me also when I'm on TV, so it's, it's, I should understand this. Yeah, I mean, when you put yourself well, so up... Not everybody can like you, huh? No, when you put yourself up as an analyst, that's just what I was going to say, Zane. Not everybody likes you. Sometimes you're judged not on yeah. what you're saying, but on who you are or what you've been or your accent, as, as I get mm. judged on an awful lot in Some this country. Some personal thing. Yeah, 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 the, yeah. The, great irony, the great irony no, for me is... Some, yeah, there's even on. some chick now from Cape Town is attacking now. I wanted to ask her now... Uh, I need girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so exactly. I, no, I'm not going to reply to her. She says I'm a hypocrite because how can I say that? Because Have you ever played? She asked me, has New Collins ever played football? Yes, I've played football. So I'm not even going to entertain her because this thing was between me and him. Anyway. <laughs> well, I spoke I spoke to, to both parties involved in that brief spat this morning between you and an analyst. That a, yeah. a bit, I'm, I'm trying to explain. Some people are reporters, right? They go on and, and, they, and they tell what they know. And then others are analysts. Mm. And I, I see myself as a bit of both, but mostly an analyst. You and Shakes, when you yeah. go on together, I was just saying, uh, then I, I, I'll make sure I get the half-time. Sometimes I go and watch the other football at half-time. But when, when you and mm. Shakes are on, I quite like Simba as well, that, that lad from the old uh, Professional yeah. Footballers Association. I like Simba. Uh, yeah. and, and if you're on and, and Carol... Um, is, is is doing your super sport an analysis with you and Shakes at half time. I will make sure. And I said this to Comfort before you came on. I'll make sure that I'm I'm watching that because you're funny. You're not Maybe scared to tell it like it is. Maybe I should just apologise to that guy. Yeah, no, I've, I have. <laughs> Maybe I should just say. Huh? No, Joe's cool. I, I I spoke to him this morning. Yeah, Maybe I should just say sorry to him and. Ah, uh, yeah, if you want to. I mean, that's yeah? essentially... Look, look, Twitter isn't like journalism, right? I, I don't think it's fair mm -hmm. to judge people on Twitter because because Twitter is so quick and so brief. I often make mistakes. I often type the wrong word. Like, yesterday, mm -hmm. I kept trying to write the word, the, the, the agent's name, Robert Moore, double O-R-E. And instead of that, I kept saying Rob Moore, mm -hmm. Rob Moore, Rob Moore. And, yeah, mm -hmm. it's just my fingers keep mm -hmm. slipping. <clears throat> but uh, I'm sure he doesn't Rob Moore at all. Uh, so so what, what we're looking at, Zane is a situation this week where we've beaten Botswana 4-1 but gone out of the World Cup. Then we're looking at a situation where we play our arch rivals, Zimbabwe, and we meet and speak to Zimbabwean guys. And I talk, I don't know about you, but I talk to them about football all the time and how good mm. dynamos are and all that. Yeah, because they're all over the place. Mate, they are all over the place, but, but I, I have no problem with Zimbabwe. that. Listen, I'm fucking half British, aren't I? So yeah. I am a South African citizen, but I'm, yeah. I'm fully aware that South Africa were quite happy to let me come back here after my years in exile and let me take up residence here. So I have no problem with having lots of Zimbabweans here. I find them yeah. absolutely brilliant, and uh, they're not threatening my job, I guess. So, so maybe I, I don't have any yeah. xenophobia in me. Having travelled the world and mm. seen Britain's got lots of um, immigrants from all over the world, I have no problem with that. But no, I have I a problem. Okay. I have a problem, Zane, with losing to Zimbabwe. Not just losing, but being outplayed by them. What happened there? Mm. What happened? Yeah, what? Neil. Go on. I don't know. To tell you the truth, I was I was a bit disappointed. I was, uh, to tell you the truth, after us uh, losing to uh losing out I and mean, yeah. we we beat Botswana but having been you know having lost out on qualifying for the next stage of the World Cup mm. my interest levels kind of dropped in terms of even watching the game uh, to be honest with you I was watching another soapy when <laughs> the <game was> <laughs> no honestly I'm being honest yeah. there's this soapy on 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 Isibaya it's called I don't know if you've What's it ever heard of it it's Oh it's yeah, Sibaya. It's on it's on at eight thirty, and the game was starting at eight thirty. I know Sibaya, of, I mean, of course I do. Of course I do. It's on. It's uh, on. Do you know it? Yeah, of it's course. It's on channel one six one. On. Yeah, I watch it occasionally. I, can't, I watch it occasionally, maybe. Yeah, so <laughs> so I was like, hey, sh do I miss my program or do I watch Bafana? It was a bit of a tough choice. I mean, they're starting at half past eight. That's late anyway. I mean, they are accommodating generations. So <clears throat> it just shows that even generations come first. So I was like watching, and then and when it was Edward, I was changing in between, I was watching. So I didn't really get the performance, but say, like you said, Zimbabwe outplayed them. I watched a bit more of the second half, though, yeah. because by that time, both my programs were finished. With <laughs> uh, and Zabalaza. I'm not being funny, I'm just telling you the truth. The reason I'm saying this, <clears throat> the reason I'm saying this, look. 
there's some things I don't get. I mean, Gordon says uh, the boys are thrown in at, at the deep end. I mean, we didn't have time to prepare. I mean, those, most, all these guys who are in the team, or most of them, unless I'm wrong, hmm. they've been playing, uh, what you call it, they've been involved in the Kosafa Cup or, or otherwise. Yes. I know that the team that played against Botswana was probably it was, it was different in terms of the overseas players they had, they had to leave, the Pirates players not available. So there were some changes, but it wasn't wholesale changes that would affect the the nucleus of the squad. I mean, it's yeah. not like we had a totally new team and players they haven't played together. Those guys played in the Kosafa Cup. They've even played in a friendly against Burkina Faso. Yeah. So the point I'm trying to make is, yeah, look, we probably had a stronger squad against Botswana. Yeah. But Botswana, in comparison to Zimbabwe, I mean, it's, for me, it's, uh, you know, they're much weaker than Zimbabwe, Botswana. So, Agreed. you know, it, yeah, we, we can't go over, uh, I mean, we, we, we can't go, how can I say, what's the word? Uh, you, you can't go better, overboard? You better at English. Can't English. go overboard I about mean, beating yeah. Botswana. You know, what that win against, Zimbab- against Botswana, you know what I mean? Mm. I mean, they were always coming here to defend. It was just a matter of time before we scored. I mean, the, the keeper kept them in the game in the... In the early stages. He did, actually. I, mean, I thought it was quite impressive, yeah. yeah. He's the yeah, Platinum Stars great, reserve I, keeper, isn't he? I mean, I, well, you know, when he saved those two from uh, Dikacho, I actually thought, hey, maybe, you know, a keeper...